In a previous episode, we explored Monterey's rise as a nearshoring powerhouse. Today, we zoom out to examine how evolving trade dynamics are influencing global supply chain strategies with a special focus on the latest developments that may overturn a lot of what we talked about. Hello everyone and welcome back to Procurement in the Park. I'm Christian Shu, and today we are embarking on an in-depth journey through the evolving maze of trade relations that bind the US, Mexico and China. This complex triad is not only reshaping global supply chains, but also challenging procurement professionals to rethink strategies in the face of geopolitics. Our narrative begins with a pivotal shift observed in 2023, as detailed by The Economist. Mexico emerged as the top exporter to the United States, surpassing China. This landmark change is a direct outcome of strategic decoupling efforts by the US to mitigate reliance on China's imports propelled forward by the bolstering framework of the USMCA. However, as the plot thickens, we dive deeper. China, with its characteristic strategic foresight, has not remained passive. Chinese enterprises are strategically penetrating markets previously dominated by the American and Mexican counterparts. This maneuver complicates the trade landscape, introducing a layer of complexity as exports find a way into the US through what could be described as a longer yet determined route via Mexico. This evolving trade dynamic brings to light concerns around transparency and the accuracy of trade data. A notable point of contention is the steel and aluminum sector, highlighted by US officials complaining about the opacity surrounding Mexico's imports from third countries. The US's frustration is palpable, with tariffs on some Chinese steel imports by Mexico doing little to quell the unease. The electric vehicle market stands at the forefront of this trilateral trade tension. The disparity in EV prices between China and the US, coupled with China's dominance in global EV production, poses a significant challenge. The Biden administration's contemplation of tariff increases on these vehicles underscores the complexities of protecting domestic industries while fostering international trade relations under the USMCA framework. But the challenges don't stop at tariffs and trade policies. The nuances of the USMCA's rules of origin and the burgeoning Chinese investment in Mexico's northern states, particularly in the automotive sector, hint at a deeper integration of Chinese components into products ostensibly made in Mexico. This strategic positioning by Chinese firms, notably BYD's announcement of a significant manufacturing footprint in Mexico suggests a calculated move to leverage Mexico's proximity to the US market. As procurement professionals, we are at the crossroads of an unfolding saga that demands a keen understanding of this global trade dynamics. The US-Mexico-China triad serves as a case study in the delicate balance of fostering robust trade relationships, ensuring economic security and navigating the geopolitical undercurrents that shape our supply chains. The story further complicates with the anticipation of future trade negotiations and potential policy shifts, especially with the looming prospect of renegotiating the terms of USMCA. The strategic chess game of international trade is on full display, with each move by the US, Mexico and China carrying implications for procurement strategy, supply chain resilience and global economic stability. In conclusion, this deep dive into the US-Mexico-China trade relations 
paints a complex picture of the challenges and opportunities facing procurement professionals today. As we navigate this labyrinth, the lessons learned here underscore the importance of agility, strategic planning and the necessity to adapt to the ever-changing geopolitical landscape. Thank you for joining me on this exploration of the trade dynamics that are defining our global procurement strategies. I'm Christian Schuh and this has been Procurement in the Park. <music>